Here's how you can build some little edible models of epithelial tissue. You need um, kind of optional some these swabs and a little bit of either food coloring or you can use beet juice if you just might even microwave a beet for just a minute and we'll add a little water and swish it around you can make your own red food coloring um, that, but if you don't have that you can still make the model you basically need a flour tortilla or a corn tortilla any kind of a flatbread that's going to be your basement membrane you need some flat cheeses for your squamous cells and then you need some cheese cubes I've cut them into um, columnar shape and into cuboidal shape so we want to make let's see some little squares little pieces of basement membrane and your first one will be simple squamous so you want to take your squamous cheese here and then you can cut it or you can even just rip pieces here to make little cells press it down it's kind of like making a like a stone walkway right they're kind of almost touching little shapes that of course we can't show the desmosomes in here that would be a little too difficult I think Okay, so this is simple squamous and if you want to add some nuclei to make them look more like cells you just step in and kind of go like that okay so there's your simple squamous model and you could go straight to um, the stratified squamous from that. One or two, stack them. And they wouldn't have to be right on top of each other. They can be kind of overlapping. Oh, the angles like that. Okay, there's one. And you want to add a couple layers. Nice thing about these models, of course, is that they're edible. And when you're done, you can uh, just eat them instead of throwing them out. We'll put some nuclei on them. And we'll just make this kind of a three layer. Now, if you were making a keratinized, then the top layer would not have nuclei. If you're making non keratinized, then the top layer will make this non-keratinized. So there's some nuclei. Okay, so there's your stratified squamous. So let's make simple cuboidal. Simple means there's just one layer. So this one's going to be very easy. We just take our little squares, and line them up. match up perfectly. It's okay. All right. Here we go. Simple cuboidal. And then I'll add some nuclei. Like I said, you could use something else too if you wanted to press bits of raisin in there or something. You could do that. You don't have to use the coloring. Like I said, you can use natural coloring too. It doesn't have to be artificial. Now let's make it stratified. So we're going to stack on another layer. And of course on this one, if you remember, you really only have to put on one extra layer because the look at the squamous, you can put on a lot of layers. But this one you really only find, look at one example I showed, there's really just two layers. Three at the most, but often just two. Okay, just totally run out of cubes. There we've got our. All right, I think I'm out of cubes. So there's our stratified cube oil. Okay, or you can also make it look like the uh, put the nuclei on the sides there, so you can see it from a side view. Okay, then our last one. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of basement membrane. So these are going to 
Stand up tall. We'll make simple columnar. Push our columns. Okay. I'm going to squish them together a little bit so they stay up. Simple columnar now. Of course, some of these would have, um, let's see, you could make, um, if you snip off, snip off the tip on that, we could make a hole in one. We could make this a goblet cell. So there's where the mucus is going to come out. All right? There's our goblet cell. And I think on this one I'm going to put, make it look like the nuclei are on the side here. Tip it up, see, and I can view it from the side. And if you can think of something to make little uh, microvilli or cilia, you can do that. Um, I'm just going to let it go with that. And then uh, we'll make stratified columnar. We can add an extra layer. That one, our goblet cell, we have to be on the outside of this one. Okay, that one's a little uneven, but I'm sticking up a little bit. So we'll make our goblet cells here on the outside. Okay, and put our nuclei right there. Okay, so that is stratified columnar tippet, so you can see it. Kind of squish these together a little bit. You could put a little bit of water on it perhaps on the cheese to stick it together better. A little film of water might help. And so the best part is when you're done, you can just eat it.